Hello there folks, Erdy John here, and today we are talking about Dark Viper AU. Now, if you guys don't know who Dark Viper is, he was a GTA streamer who's been on this arc of, like, anti-reaction channels, which is a, is a good thing for, for the most part, right? Like, you're, you're against the bad actors of YouTube for the most part, right? Well, the problem is he kind of chose the uh, nuclear option where, like, all reaction content is bad no matter the circumstance, right? So even if it's a fair critique, it's not just playing the video with minimal edits or talking in it, right? Nope, if you, if you react at all, you're a bad person. And he did this to a streamer called Chud Logic. Now, luckily, he, he did this so poorly with Chud Logic that eventually YouTube just kicked it back towards Dark Viper and was like, hey, you need to file this properly. And, you know, for the most part, it just kind of went nowhere. Um, people like Nicholas DiOrio decided to donate to him asking about the whole thing. And he just kind of like, he, he, he said he did it without doing it. He basically says, Nick, I know you're a notorious uh, crapster. No comment. But, like, it was clearly him who was doing it, right? Well, here is this tweet from Chud Logic saying this. Remember when Dark Viper AU filed a DMCA against me last year for reacting to one of his YouTube videos and it got knocked back by YouTube? Well, he had hired a lawyer to file it on his behalf, who also messed up with the DMCA and had to go backwards and forwards with YouTube for months to finally get it through. As part of their correspondence, his lawyer, probably at Dark Viper's request, demanded YouTube keep the emails private because they were worried that I was going to make content out of it and defame him. They also alluded to taking legal action against both me and YouTube if it passed on to me. Well, the good news is I have the full email chain and will be going over it tomorrow on stream. Now, I believe at the time of this recording, Chud has already gone over everything. Uh, I can't wait to see his, uh, his view from it. I'm sure he'll probably clip it into a video. And let's take a look at the screenshot of the email he alluded to. We also stipulate that this correspondence not be shared in part or in full with Chud Logic and must be kept confidential. We believe it is highly likely that Chud Logic will use copies of any correspondence to create further content on his channel that may be either A defamatory in nature or B will lead to further infr inf infringement on our client's work. Each outcome would be at the detriment of our client. We note that this takedown correspondence between our client and YouTube with respect to the first infringing work was subs subsequently used by Chud Logic to create further offensive content, which included copies of the takedown correspondence and references to our client being a copyright abuser, which may give rise to an action of defamation. On this point, we refer to the following videos for your reference only. <laughs> And it says at the bottom, should you two breach the confidential nature of this correspondence, our client receives all rights, sorry, reserves all rights he may have at law or in equality, uh, I'm pronouncing that wrong, but either way, whatever, to take appropriate action against YouTube and Chud Logic. Now, guys, I don't think I need to tell you. It's ridiculous to even try to do YouTube lawsuits, right? Like, what happened to the to the good old days of YouTube when two YouTubers would just beef and like make like four videos on each other, right? Now it's all about, oh, I'm gonna sue you, I'm gonna sue you. But like, it's another level for Dark Viper AU to threaten to get YouTube involved in this. YouTube, who keep in mind has the backing of Google, one of the big, biggest tech companies of all time. Now, obviously, copyright is a, uh, is a, like, it's a blank void where anyone can really interpret how they want. 
But as I've stated in my previous coverage of everything that's been going on with the whole copyright situations, we have cases which we can refer to on how copyright can work and fair use works. The Ethan Klein case, the Sargon of Akkad case. So Chud Logic is well within his rights to do whatever he wants with Dark Viper's content as long as he transforms it in nature. And that's what he did with all of his critiques, his analysis, everything. Dark Viper just can't handle being criticized over something that he is seemingly really passionate about, but like he can't see, what's the phrase? He can't see um, the trees through the forest or something, something like that. Anyway, you get what I'm saying here. He's not seeing the big picture. He's just seen a very narrow minded view of something and he can't listen to anyone else. He also released a video on his secondary channel talking about how Ethan Klein is a toxic hypocrite. Which, I mean, I mean, good on you, you know, classic commentary move, you know, making a video making fun of Ethan Klein. And we have a tweet by Nicholas Diorio saying, This freak has spent a year and a half paying lawyers to take down a small content creator's video because it got his feelings hurt. And he's also crying about Ethan Klein making fun of him and being toxic. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's hilarious. Here's a clip from that. This reminded me that very recently I found out that Ethan has something like six different sound effects of me on his podcast. Not only that, he has used them frequently for over two years. That is just really fucked up. It's 14, it's 14 eh? pages! <laughs> 14 pages. That's right. 14. <laughs> One of my favorite oh, no. people on the internet, Dark Viper, 14 pages! As someone who has been incessantly harassed by him for years in front of thousands, he is one of those truly deserving of being driven off the internet. I don't know how sick of an individual you have to be to do something like this. Like, if he was using it in some wholesome way or shouting me out in some positive way, fine. But he's just using it to mock me. But I did write a 14 page script explaining it's a 14 page document on page 14. It's 14 pages long, which is why I spent 14 pages establishing. It's a 14 page meticulously written. It's 14 pages. 14 pages. But yeah, Dark Viper, listen, I understand that you have a, a die hard fan base that's going to believe you no matter what. But from Everyone on the outside looking in, you look like a malicious moron. Like this, this is not going to win you any YouTube brownie points anytime soon. Anyway, this is Nerdy John signing out. And don't, don't sue people over them making fun of your videos, guys. It's not a good move.